Welcome back to the Tailgate Tours. I'm Jeff Pangle, Technical Seed Agronomist for Winfield United for the Delta Region. Coming to you today from the answer plot at Dumas, Arkansas. We're working on our next 10 days training videos and this is a follow-up on a corn irrigation video series that Curtis Fox and I did earlier in the season talking about setting up for corn irrigation, different types, etc. So one of the things we talked about in that initial video was the importance of prime time being ready to go at that peak demand for water when this corn is approaching tassel like the corn is behind me today and going from tassel vt to r5 which is the dense stage as the starch line begins to move so this is a 45 day 30 to 45 day window when we are going to have to be johnny on the spot for irrigating our corn. We're gonna have to, we may have to run our sets a little longer to let the beds wick longer because these plants are sucking water at this stage. We got a blue sky day, relatively low humidity, water moving through this plant at a very fast rate. And one of the things that I'll include in the video is an evapotranspiration chart from the weather station at Dumas that shows how the corn utilizes water and how the water moves through the plant on a day-to-day -day basis. When this corn moves through this stage we'll see that peak demand go down but this is the time when the corn battle is won and lost so stay on top of your irrigation cycle uh, be aware that this stage of the crop is going to the corn is going to use water uh, a, a lot more water at this stage so it may it may take a little longer to push the water through on the runs thank you for watching today prime time irrigation for corn Jeff Pangle, Technical Seed Agronomist, Winfield United, Delta Region for the next 10 days. Thank you.